Howdy, Mr. Kazi, coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas, with another problem of the week. And this week's problem is a little bit long, so let's get started. You're going to need to have a periodic table. You're going to need a calculator. And of course, I use the TI-84. And you need to know about molar mass. You need to know about mole ratios, chemical equations. And there are videos for each of these if you um, need any help with them. Just go to the YouTube search bar, type in Mr. Kazi and the subject, and a uh, video should come up. So here's the problem. In a precipitation reaction, 5.62 grams of calcium chloride were reacted with 7.51 grams of sodium phosphate. The product, calcium phosphate, is formed as a precipitate that can be collected and weighed. If 3.59 grams of calcium phosphate are obtained from the reaction, what is the percent yield? Now, when you look at this problem here, you really need to take note that there are 5.62 grams of calcium chloride and 7.51 grams of sodium phosphate. And what's going to be important here is determining which one of those is the limiting reactant. So, we need to analyze this problem. First, let's write a balanced equation. Then, find molar masses. Find the moles. Determine the limiting reactant. And then, using that limiting reactant, determine the percent yield. Here's our balanced equation. And check that out. And so, one of the first things we want to do now is look at our mole ratios. There are three moles of calcium chloride for every one mole of calcium phosphate. And so our ratio is 3 moles of calcium chloride to 1 mole of calcium phosphate. Then there are 2 moles of sodium phosphate for every 1 mole of ca calcium phosphate. And so let's look at our ratio there. And so it's a 2 to 1 ratio as the calcium chloride was a 3 to 1 ratio. Now, we're going to use these ratios to help us uh, turn everything into moles and then we can decide where we want to go uh, from there. So, getting our molar masses. Uh, calcium chloride is uh, 110.98 grams per mole. Sodium phosphate is 163.94 grams per mole. And calcium phosphate is 309.97 grams per mole. You need to use your calculator and the periodic table to add those all up. There's also a video on uh, how to do these if you're not sure. So now let's change grams to moles using those numbers. 5.62 grams of calcium chloride is going to convert into, and notice I uh, did my uh, unit analysis, 0 0.0507 moles of calcium chloride. Now let's calculate for sodium phosphate. And as you look this over, remember you can always uh, rewind and go back to check on these and check for other videos to help you if you're not sure how to do grams to moles. And so we get 0 0.0458 moles per of, of sodium phosphate. Let's do our mole check. Using the uh, calcium phosphate to calcium chloride uh, moles, we check our unit analysis and that's all the calcium phosphate I can get. Let's check the uh, sodium phosphate. And with that number of moles of uh, sodium phosphate, this is all of the calcium phosphate I can get. Notice that it's the uh, calcium chloride that's going to be our limiting reactant. It has the smallest amount. So if uh, calcium chloride is the limiting reactant, we are going to use 0 0.0169 moles calcium phosphate to see how much is going to get produced. doesn't matter how much of, of the other reactant we have. Once calcium chloride is used up, no more calcium phosphate is going to be made. So moles to grams. We're going to take our moles of calcium phosphate and change it into grams. You can check the math. Just plug and chug. And now to do the percent, take the part 
divide it by the whole, we got 3.59 grams calcium phosphate, but the yield should have been 5.24 grams calcium phosphate. And so that will give us 0.685, and that's a percent yield of 68.5%, which really isn't that bad. All right, the recap. We wrote a balanced equation. We found the molar masses. We determined the moles of the reactants. We determined the limiting reactant. And we found the yield and the percent yield. And you could also find your error using those same numbers. It wouldn't be that hard. Error is just uh, going to be compared to the uh, accepted value, what should have been found, and what you actually got. So that uh, could be a subject for another video. Well, if you have any questions, be sure to send an email to Mr. Causey at mrcausey.com. And check out Mr. Causey's world for videos and PowerPoints. Lots of information there. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, for lots of good uh, videos and ideas for chemistry. Happy ions, everyone.